to bring in Hillary Flint now. She's still for the East Palestine train derailment and a resident of Enon Valley, Pennsylvania. That's another town impacted by this tragedy. Uh, thanks, Hillary, for being with us this morning. You were at this town hall, I understand, and lots of hands went in the air. A lot of people are still feeling very concerned. Who wasn't there is also of note. Nobody from a government agency, no one from Norfolk Southern. What does that tell you? Yeah, um, thanks for having me today. Um, what that tells me is that they aren't uh, willing to listen to residents. They aren't willing to listen to the community. A lot of decisions are being made um, without community input. And, you know, that's really what we're asking for here. We we want to be able to have an input on what the next steps in our homes, testing, um, health, lives. One of the demands, Hillary, that you all are calling for is funding for independent testing for the next 30 years. How did you all reach that number? Yeah, so um, that number was reached because we understand that the how long it might take these chemicals to settle down to wells. Um, a lot of people in these communities have private wells. Um, and also, there's no studies um, on all of these chemicals released together. So we recognize that this is something that no one's ever seen before. Um, and oversight needs to be done to keep us safe, not only now, but in the long term. Talk about your personal experience, Hillary, what you have um, felt and some of your concerns at the crash and in the last few months. Sure, um, so I am a kidney cancer survivor. I had kidney cancer in my 20s and I'm only not even quite uh, three years out. So my main concern is, you know, is this the thing that's gonna take me out of remission? Um, I also have autoimmune conditions. So I've been dealing with rashes, migraines, um, you know, itchy eyes. And the experience that I've had, especially as a Pennsylvania resident, is that we don't have much access to help. Um, we don't even know what to do. And um, that's been incredibly frustrating. Right, and so some of the compensation that the railroad is offering to people within the East Palestine area wouldn't apply to you in your community. You're outside the five mile radius? So the radius that they're using originally was one mile um, and then it kind of went to two miles. I'm actually within five miles, um, but do not have access to any of those things. I spoke with Governor Josh Shapiro yesterday. I handed him our community demands when he um, stopped in Darlington Township. And what he gave me was a business loss claims form. And this is what he said that I can use to claim loss, um, but it's not intuitive. If this is the case, that this is how Pennsylvania residents get money, you know, why would we know a business loss claims information sheet is what we should be using? Um, so again, it's, it's the whole process has just been incredibly confusing. Yeah, confusing and messy, and I'm sure very frustrating. So this unity council of the things you all are proposing to the governor of Ohio, um, has there been any response yet? So not directly to us. All of the response we've gotten has been other media telling me what uh, DeWine's office has said. Um, and again, we are finger pointing. So DeWine will say that FEMA has said they can't do anything. FEMA or the White House will say that DeWine has to do the official de declaration first. Um, so, you know, we're just residents. We, we don't know all of the laws that exist and we're, we're trying to figure this out together as community members. And uh, the government hasn't been much of a help. And yeah. if, it, if the case is that FEMA can't do anything because it's not a natural disaster, then a new demand will be created that we need to start thinking about how how we make sure that this doesn't happen to someone in the future. And we hear the term pick up and move, right? Just uh, sell your house, go someplace else where you feel safe. Easier said than done, right? 100%. So I know I had posted some videos on my personal TikTok and that was all the comments. Why are you still there? Why haven't you left yet? Um, and I will say I am I work remote, so I'm a little bit luckier than others. But, you know, we're talking about people that have families, um, mortgages. People don't have money to, even if they rent, put down a security deposit somewhere else. We're also in a very affordable community. So what we have been able to create here and build over generations, um, for example, I'm the fourth generation on my land. Um, we can't find that anywhere else. So pick up and move right now. It, it's, it seems so, yeah, of course, just do it. But people can't, and that that's the big problem here. We can't. Right, put yourself in your shoes or others, um, it's your home. Hillary Flinton, thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation. I will continue to check back in on you all.
Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.